Hello, my name is John Van Dahlen, and welcome to a very special edition of Newsmax Financial. In today's presentation, we will expose one of Wall Street's biggest money-making cover-ups. You'll see how a small, inside group of money managers, top traders, and private investors have relied on a secret calendar to make consistent, reliable, and predictable profits that has beat the market by a factor of 250% over the past four and a half decades while at the same time telling millions of clients who trust and invest with them to do the exact opposite instead. But most importantly, we'll make a public announcement at the end of this presentation and reveal how you can personally get access to a superior copy of this secret calendar, absolutely free, with a unique offer, showing how you could beat the market like Wall Street insiders and have the chance to turn every $1,000 you have into a $49,000 windfall. Now, Newsmax Financial is no stranger to forecasting the market. We've been at it for over 10 years, working with some of the top financial minds, analysts, and savants, such as Steve Forbes, Jim Rogers, and T. Boone Pickens. And our experts have been featured on CNBC, Bloomberg TV, and Fox News. Some of our best stock recommendations over the past decade have made 173%, 182%, even up to 362%. Now, as you well know, all investments carry risk, and past performance in no way is indicative of future results. There's no such thing as a perfect system for making money. However, what you're about to see is unlike anything we've shared before. This investing system, using a superior version of this secret calendar, generates consistent, predictable, and reliable results, like clockwork. In fact, it picks winners nearly 100% of the time. And due to the sensitive nature of making claims related to forecasting and predicting the market, especially with returns like these and with near-perfect accuracy, we felt it would be prudent to have the expert behind the research on this secret calendar, Sean Hyman, host the presentation himself. Sean Hyman is the founder of the Absolute Profit System. He regularly appears on financial media like CNBC, Fox Business News, and Bloomberg TV. He's been known to make controversial and contrarian predictions on air that come true with stunning accuracy. In fact, he's been laughed at more than once on public television in front of millions of viewers for his predictions. However, Sean always seems to get the last laugh. Let me give you a few examples. This Bloomberg clip from 2012 made headlines across the world. Here, Sean is predicting that the down-and-out stock Best Buy, which was trading at $18 at the time, would drop to $11 and then rally back up to $40. So Sean Hyman, you've been watching it. It's been so beaten down. Is it so beaten down that it can only get better from here, especially with a new CEO? <laughs> Well, it, it has been in a downtrend for the last six years, uh, so the, the trader would say the trend is your friend and they would uh, short on rallies. However, the uh, Best Buy investor, of course, can take another approach and say, well, it has been down for six years. It is approaching the 2008-2009 lows uh, at around 16 to $18 a share. Um, and so, therefore, they could start nibbling away uh, if they had a you know, two-year time horizon. Uh, should it slip through that support, then it might slip as low as 10 or 11. So I think it's very uh, appealing to the investor at this point to start nibbling away. And uh, I believe uh, Best Buy could bounce to about 25, 28 uh, within about you know, a few months after it starts turning. And then about 18 months afterwards, we could be up double uh, to about 40. Wow. Wow. Now watch as another analyst on the show laughs at Sean and says that's the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. But Best Buy, Best Buy is just a showroom, and the only hope for they have for them is private equity. Forty dollars on Best Buy. I mean, if that's the case, Apple's going to fifteen hundred. That's the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. <laughs> of course, Sean had the last laugh. Soon after this video interview, Best Buy dropped down to eleven, and then rallied back up to twenty-five, and then continued on its way up to forty. It all happened just as Sean predicted. As I said, this is a regular occurrence for Sean Hyman. On February 4, 2013, Sean was invited to be on the Willis Report to discuss the market sell-off that sent the Dow below 14,000. Watch as Sean predicts how the Dow will eventually rally to 15.5. So I do believe that ultimately the market heads higher. Um, the Dow could go to you know 15,000, 15.5 fairly easily, but oh, we're we'll probably hold see you a pullback first. Sean, you can't say that. We'll hold you to that. <laughs> As you can see, Sean has a good rapport with Jerry Willis, and she said she would hold him to his prediction. 
So after Sean's predictions came true, she had him back on her show on May 3rd so she could give him credit. Sean, you disagree, but I have to give you props for predicting this not too long ago. So as you can see, Sean Hyman is one of those few who has the courage to make bold, accurate forecasts about the market, while everyone else is running the wrong way. A lot of people think Sean is lucky, but it has nothing to do with luck. Instead, it has everything to do with having the right tools to help him foresee what will happen in the market before it happens. Tools such as Wall Street's secret calendar. That's why we've asked Sean to speak on this secret calendar, but Sean will go beyond that. He will actually show you how he was able to improve the secret calendar, and then he will give it to you for free with a unique offer so that you could be put in a position to turn every $1,000 you have into $49,000. Here's Sean Hyman. Hi, I'm Sean Hyman, founder of Absolute Profits. Let me start by telling you a story. The story Wall Street doesn't publicize very much, and for good reason, too. You see, back in 1968, Merrill Lynch did an extensive study. They looked into the entire buy and hold strategy nearly every financial advisor sells their clients on. The idea that as long as you kept buying, your investments would go up, make you a millionaire when you retired. They examined seven biggest sectors over a 10-year period. And what the controversial study revealed was startling. Let's take a look. This is the stock market since 1950. The study went from 1954 to 1964. When Merrill Lynch overlaid these years, it was clear that every year, like clockwork, there were six months where these sectors went up and six months where they went down in value. Six months up, six months down, like a predictable cycle. And what they realized was, if you bought these seven sectors at the beginning of the six month up cycle and sold before the six month down cycle began and then reinvested at the next up cycle and did that for 10 years in a row, you would end up making 250% more than if you had simply bought and held. This was astounding. Here was verified proof that there was a clear, predictable pattern in the stock market. A pattern with exact dates in which to buy and exact dates in which to sell. A pattern which simply made higher returns and profit than buy and hold. Well, here's the funny yet not at all surprising thing. When Merrill Lynch discovered this six-month cycle, they didn't tell their clients to stop using the buy and hold strategy. It wasn't in their interest to reveal the market's predictable cycles. They could not imagine the consequences of what would happen if millions of people started buying and selling by following this calendar. The stock market would go into permanent chaos. Nobody would ever want to invest in the markets long term, which would dramatically reduce their management fees. And so, these Wall Street analysts kept the calendar a secret to themselves and to a few select friends. Now, to be clear, this isn't technical analysis, chart reading, candlesticks, or anything like that. These market cycles are exact dates in which to buy certain investments and exact dates in which to sell certain investments. These dates never change from one year to the next. They are always on the same day of every year. So, for example, let's take a look at energy. The secret calendar may tell you to buy the energy sector on January 11th of every year and sell it by June 14th of every year. And if you did that, you would make more money than if you had simply bought energy on January 1st and held on to it for the entire year. So here's what happened next. These Wall Street analysts got together every year and put their findings into a unique annual financial calendar. And every year since 1968, this calendar would be distributed to a very small inner circle of Wall Street insiders, stock traders, and top investors across the nation and around the globe. By following this secret calendar, a small group of Wall Street insiders are able to make consistent, predictable profits that beats the market by 250% dating back 45 years. Mind you, these aren't astronomical results like 10-baggers, trades that double your money in a few weeks, or speculative IPOs you got in early on. In other words, these were not gambles. I don't know about you, but I've never been interested in looking for needles in the haystack. I'm happy to get good, solid, safe returns year in and year out. As you can guess, the secret calendar has created many millionaires over the last four decades. In fact, a billionaire investor and former Forbes columnist confessed that he used this calendar to get wealthy. A media magnet and investment publisher admitted this calendar helped make him rich. A high-level officer at S&P 500's investment arm recently disclosed that he keeps this calendar near him at all times. And what's more, using the secret calendar, a little-known commodities trader quickly turned $10,000 into $1 million 
simply by following which dates to buy and sell as investments. Now, as you can imagine, this calendar is highly coveted. Very few professionals even know of its existence. Fewer get access to it. But here's the breaking news. Recently, I got my hands on a rogue version of this calendar. Now, a lot of things go past my desk and through my inbox every week. I often get thank you letters from my subscribers about an investment I recommended that made them money. Sometimes it's a friend asking me to look into a stock for them. But at other times, I get regular invitations to share my thoughts and ideas on the market and economy on CNBC, Fox News, and Bloomberg TV. But one Tuesday morning, I received an unmarked manila envelope in the mail. There was no from address. It simply had two Bible verses scribbled on the back. Ecclesiastes 3.1. I knew the verse by heart. It simply states, For everything there is a season, a time for every activity under heaven. The verse gave me a clear tip-off to whom the package might be from. A mentor of mine, whom I haven't spoken to in ages, had a desk plate with a quote inscribed on it. In any case, I opened the envelope, took out a rustic single-page document. The Bible verse immediately made sense. Let me show you a scanned copy of what was inside. It was a calendar of sorts. In fact, it was a rogue version of the secret calendar that identified seasons in the stock market. It listed 38 precise dates like these. The calendar is interesting because it's stripped down. There are no bells or whistles. Those 38 dates are grouped into 19 date pairs. A date pair are two days coupled together. One specific day in the year to buy a certain investment and the exact date in which to sell it. The investments in this calendar were called sector funds. These are either ETFs or mutual funds that track specific sectors of the market. I used energy as an example earlier. These sector funds have been around for a while. They are very efficient, effective, and stable. But what was interesting was what the calendar instructed me to do with them. Instead of buying them and holding on to them, a person should hold on to each of the sector funds for only two to six months, meaning hold the fund for only part of the year, but never long term. What's more, every year one should buy the same 19 sector funds on the same day as prescribed by the calendar and selling them in the same manner. And if one were to do this, according to this rogue calendar, one would receive an astounding 13.44% annualized return. In other words, if you had invested a mere $10,000 into this system 20 years ago and placed the trades on the dates as instructed in the calendar, you would now possess $124,544 while at the same time, $10,000 held in an S&P 500 index fund would have left you with $53,421. And while the buy and hold strategy returns aren't bad by any means, that is still $71,123 less than you would have made by using this calendar. About a 250% difference. I looked into it further, and I have to say, the returns are resilient. The calendar has worked reliably through three bull markets and two bear markets. In other words, it made money when times were good and when times were bad. And what's more, this rogue calendar has no thinking involved. There's no chart analysis and no digging through financial statements. One simply marks off the 38 dates on the calendar or sets a reminder on a computer, tablet, or smartphone. And when that day arrives, simply execute the investment. And as I said, if you follow these simple instructions, this rogue calendar where you place trades on only 38 days of the year should let you receive consistent, reliable, and predictable returns, leaving you free to do whatever else you wanted for the rest of the year. And here's the good news. In today's presentation, I'm going to share a superior version of this rogue calendar, set up with a crash alert system and fortified with my 360-degree value screener, absolutely free. You will need to watch until the end of this presentation to see how you can qualify. But perhaps more importantly, I'm going to show you how we supercharge this rogue calendar to up the returns so that a $10,000 investment would balloon from $124,544 up to a mind-blowing $490,693. You will be amazed. That's turning every $1,000 into $49,000. But for you to appreciate how I did it, I need to first tell you more about the rogue calendar I got my hands on and how I ramped it up thanks to the brilliant mind of a Cold War mathematician. You see, while this rogue calendar was an astonishing find and a gift from an old mentor, I wasn't about to use it without making sure it worked as well as the Wall Street insiders claimed it to. After all, everything I had heard about this calendar was based on rumors and secondhand information up until that moment. Not to mention, there is no such thing as a crystal ball to making money in the stock market. Investing in stocks inherently carries some level of risk, 
This calendar would be no exception to that rule. So I called a contact of mine, a reclusive mathematical genius, to poke holes in it. And poke holes in it, he did. The calendar was indeed a rogue version of the secret calendar passed around Wall Street. But, and this is the key, the mathematical genius went further with it. He couldn't help but tinker with the ideas inside the calendar. Before we move on, let me tell you more about the man who revised this rogue calendar. During the Cold War, he had a highly classified job working for the U.S. Air Force inside covert underground stations. And you wouldn't believe what his job was. He was the man that made sure the nuclear missiles went exactly where they were supposed to go should he ever get the call from the president or a five-star general. His geographic calculations had to be deadly accurate. One wrong digit could mean sending nuclear missiles to Britain instead of the USSR. But also, this math genius had to encrypt these top-level instructions in a complicated algorithm so that no one could ever misuse these computers. In short, his brain was built for complex numbers, and after retiring, he turned his attention to the stock market, the perfect place for a numbers guy to get wealthy. He is just the sort of man that loves to take apart any system and put it back together just to see if he can. So when I gave him access to the rogue calendar, he instantly dove deep into the mechanics of how it worked. And putting his brilliant mathematical mind to use, he upgraded and refined the rogue calendar, the one that was already beating the market by 250%. What's more, this guy took this rogue calendar a step further and made it foolproof. Now it's designed so that you can profit on the investments 96% of the time. More on this in a moment. So what we have here is perhaps one of the simplest, most reliable, and predictable ways to invest your money. And at the end of this presentation, you'll be shown how you can get a superior copy of this rogue calendar absolutely free. Here's what's great about this calendar. This isn't your typical investing strategy where you filter through thousands of stocks, pour over financial statements, and follow the company news. This also isn't some fancy trading tactic where you have to read complicated charts and sit in front of your computer all day long. And best of all, there's no second guessing, doubting, or wondering if you made the right move when you use this investing system. You simply execute two or three investments each month. Fact is, this rogue calendar may be one of the most consistent and profitable investment strategies I've ever come across. Especially when I teamed up with our mathematician to create the superior version of this calendar. Consider this. The average annual stock market returns over the past 20 years has been 8.74%. The rogue calendar improves the returns to 13.44% annually. Our superior version up the returns to 18.79% per year and then overlaid with my 360 degree system for investing to increase the returns to 21.49%. Over a 20 year period, an 18.79% annual return, now watch closely, an 18.79% annual return would catapult a $10,000 investment to $313,038, and a 21.49% return would catapult it to $490,693. All right, that's a lot of numbers, so let me explain how we did this. At the heart of it all is a simple concept of investing in the seasons of predictable returns. Now, what can be more predictable and reliable and consistent than seasons? The four seasons of spring and summer and fall and winter have repeated their cycle thousands of times since day one. One season follows another in the same order over and over again, and what this calendar does is take advantage of that. Let's use this simple example to drive the point home. We'll say clothing. With clothes, they are in-season and out-of-season fashion. Let's say a good thick winter jacket. As you know, when winter comes around and people need winter jackets, retail stores will charge you full price for them. But once winter season is over, retail stores must get rid of their supply. So they put the winter jackets on sale at 50, even 75% off. Now, if you were smart about this and didn't care about the latest trends in fashion, you would simply buy that winter jacket when it was out of season in the springtime when retailers were doing their best to clear out their inventory to make way for new stock. The fact is, regardless of what happens come November or December, winter comes, and you will need a winter jacket. The question is, did you pay full price or a deep discount for the jacket when it was out of season? This very same principle applies to the stock market as well. You see, stocks can be divided up into many sectors. A sector is basically a group of related industries. Some sectors may be energy, healthcare, or utilities. Some others are consumer staples, technology, and defense. As you can see, these sectors are based on very common everyday things we need as people. And most people tend to buy these things at the same time each and every year. 
Another basic example would be our heating and electric bills. Those tend to be higher in the winter time. A final example would be real estate. Historically, you have a better chance of selling your house during late spring, right before the summer holidays. And when large groups of people purchase the same items in a small window of time, well, revenue and profits naturally soar for that period of the year, causing a spike in their values on the stock markets. With this basic premise, my mathematical genius went about dissecting the 19 sectors in the road calendar. Remember, each sector had a two to six month season when it rose in value, and it did it every year at the same time like clockwork. We call these two to six month periods prime season, and if you simply bought on the first day of each sector's prime season and sold on the last day of their prime season, you would receive the best possible returns each and every year. The numbers we have were astounding. Now listen closely because I'm about to get into something truly miraculous. Let's take a look. In the first iteration of this rogue calendar, the average trade was able to get 11.23% returns per investment, winning 89.7% of the time, which meant that 89 out of 100 investments made were profitable. Over the course of the year, by selling each sector when told to, and then reinvesting the gains into the next prime sector, the average annual return was 13.44%. Put another way, if you continued to reinvest your profits over a 20-year period, a $10,000 investment would grow to $124,544. Now compare this to using buy and hold on the S&P 500. You'd have $53,421 instead from an 8.74% annual return, which means the calendar helps you beat the market by a factor of about $71,123, a 250% increase. Obviously, the calendar was a success. But for my mathematical genius friend and me, a 13.44% annual return wasn't good enough. And we both felt that a win ratio of 89.7% was still too risky. In other words, we wanted to stack the odds in our favor even further. Now, of course, there's no such thing as a perfect system to make money in stocks without taking on some level of risk. But that doesn't mean we can't try to mitigate risk as much as possible. So we applied a technical indicator called the MACD to our calendar. MACD stands for Moving Average Convergence Divergence. I won't take the time here to explain it all in detail, but essentially, it's a reliable indicator that triggers buy and sell signals based on trend direction and changes in the momentum of any sector. And with this extra layer of analysis, our return per investment unfortunately dropped from 11.23% to 9.7%. However, now, Pay close attention, our win ratio in backtesting, or how often our investments were profitable, climbed to an unbelievable 96%, which meant that out of every 100 investments this calendar suggested, 96 were winners. Here's the funny thing about the math. Placed side by side, the average person would say, isn't it better to make 11.23% 90 times out of 100 versus 9.7% 96 times out of 100? Well. Here's where it's nice to have a math genius on your side. If you do the calculations on probabilities and returns, you actually make more money in the long run when your returns per trade are lower, but you are winning 96% of the time. In fact, when all was said and done, if you would reinvest your gains back into the system over and over again with the new MACD numbers, instead of getting a 13.44% annual return like you would with the rogue calendar, you will get an 18.79% annualized return with this advanced calendar with MACD, what we are calling the prime season calendar. And if you would have invested a mere $10,000 into this prime season calendar 20 years ago and placed the investments on the dates as instructed in the calendar, you would now be sitting on $313,038 while that same $10,000 held in an S&P 500 index fund would be a mere $53,421. Again, this is why having a math genius on speed dial helps a lot. And in a moment, I will show you how we juice the returns even more so that the $313,000 turns into $490,000 and change. As I've said before, this calendar is the simplest system I've ever seen. All you have to do is buy the sectors when the calendar tells you to and sell it when it says to. You can add all 38 dates into your calendar, tablet, or smartphone. And as I'd also mentioned, you'll have a chance to get a copy of our prime season calendar absolutely free near the end of this presentation. But that's not all. You see, I haven't told you the best part about this calendar. I wanted to design the calendar with a crash alert system that could detect if the stock market was approaching a major sell-off weeks before the crash would hit. It sounds impossible, right? Well, it's amazing what you can do when you have a nuclear missile architect as part of your mastermind group. 
After all, part of his job during the Cold War was to prevent the worst case scenario. So here's what we did. We re-engineered the MACD indicator that we used to identify the prime seasons so that it could alert us if the stock market was approaching a major crash. Now, this meant making the calendar live on an encrypted website. So we created such a website and the math genius laced the code behind the scenes to literally say crash alert weeks before the market would collapse. And it worked perfectly in all of our testing. Now, you can easily avoid the worst of any stock market correction, downturn, or even a crash. We've all experienced how devastating these downturns in the market can be. If you've been investing for any amount of time, then you may have experienced the 1987 crash when a bunch of trading robots brought Wall Street to its knees. Or remember the tech crash of 2001 when everyone realized the tech companies weren't really worth anything. And you probably still feel the pain from the 2008 great financial crisis brought on by subprime mortgages that sent the stock market tumbling by 55%. And every time these market corrections occurred, folks at every level watched helplessly as their hard-earned investments got cut in half or worse, got completely wiped out. Some have seen their nest egg built over decades of work vanish. Well, our prime season calendar here is designed to flash a red alert before the crisis happens. Take a look at the 2008 crash, for example. Late 2007 was the beginning of the great financial crisis. That's when the world first learned about the destructive consequences of subprime mortgages. Now, if you had used the original calendar, the one without the extra layer of protection of the MACD, you would have lost 55% of your stock portfolio. But because we've added the MACD to the equation, it actually told us to get out almost immediately before the crash on December 10th. However, any person who uses the prime season calendar doesn't have to know all the math behind the scenes. When they access the calendar, it will simply say crash alert on the calendar, and you will know to sell all of your positions. In fact, you will notice this crash alert system would have told us to stay out of the market until the worst was over. It's that simple. This is a calendar that is designed to pay out 18.79% annualized returns consistently, predictably, and reliably. It's accurate 96% of the time, and on top of that, it tells you to get out weeks before things are about to crash. Now, for most people, that'd be more than good enough, but not for me. I knew I could do even better with our prom season calendar, so I asked myself, what if we invested only in the best stocks of each sector during its prime season? Now, the concept of seasons is not new to me. In fact, I've used it my entire investing and trading life. As a financial newsletter writer, I've recommended several investments based on market cycles and seasons. It's the kind of analysis that helped me make several accurate predictions on television, as you may have seen at the very beginning of this web presentation. I was able to say that Best Buy would drop to $11 and bounce back to $40, and that the Dow would go up to 15000 on Fox Business News because I understood financial seasons intuitively. And when I apply seasonal investing to my proprietary 360-degree approach to analyzing stocks, quite a few of my picks hit double-digit returns within a few months after I recommended them. By the way, my 360-degree proprietary approach to investing is a combination of fundamental, technical, and sentiment analysis. I won't go too much into the details of it here, but it's essentially a complete view of an investment. It's a powerful way to analyze stocks, commodities, and funds. But when it's coupled with seasonal investing, it gets even better. Let me show you a few examples of investments that I alerted my readers and viewers to. Back in July of 2012, I saw that the European countries were still being battered down in the financial markets, even though it had been three years since the most devastating Euro crisis. One particular country's exchange-traded fund, Italy, fell from $36 to below $10. Now, Italy is a member of the G8, and it's one of the largest economies in Europe. Plus, the P.E. ratio of Italy's exchange-traded fund was at an unheard of eight. P.E. stands for price-to-earnings ratio. A stock with a P.E. of 16 is fairly priced. Anything above 16 gets overpriced. Anything below it will be underpriced. In other words, Italy was on a fire sale. So on July 24, 2012, I recommended my private group of newsletter readers buy this ETF at $9.33. The small group of people who were wise enough to listen to me enjoyed a 51% profit when we sold the position on September 12, 2013 at $13.78. This is an example of me recognizing when a country had become so out of season that it was being punished unfairly. For my readers, they picked up the investment at a deep discount. Here's another example. Recently, I found a natural gas company in the South Americas called YPF that became out of season to the point where its P.E. ratio was 6.33. Again, 
For me, using my 360 degree approach and understanding of this country's financial seasons, I was confident enough to tell my readers we are getting a true out of season deep discount here. We bought YPF on May 21st for $13.84. Four months later, we turned around and sold YPF for 33% profits. One last example, and this one ties into a video that you saw at the start of this presentation. Remember this clip? Bucks. Best, Buy, Best Buy is just a showroom, and the only hope for they have for them is private equity. $40 on Best Buy? I mean, if that's the case, Apple's going to $1,500. That's the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. <laughs> the Young Gun analyst said if Best Buy went to $40, that Apple would hit $1,500. Well, here's the funny thing. What that analyst didn't know was that Apple was on my radar screen. I was just waiting for it to fall out of season. And sure enough, it did when its P.E. ratio dropped below the 10 mark. Readers of my newsletter were able to scoop up shares at $419 on June 20, 2013. Since then, Apple has bounced back, giving us a nice gain. Now, we're still waiting for this investment to play out, but one thing is for certain, I sure like owning Apple at $419 a lot more than owning it at its high of $700. That's a 40% discount. My readers are often surprised at how I'm able to pick these out-of-season stocks and just at the right time before they get into season again. Many of them have profited greatly from these investments. Here's what some of them have to say. In less than six weeks, I have seen gains of between 10 to 12 percent. My investment is up 10.2 percent in seven days. I can't wait until your next recommendation. I'm up to 8 percent, 9.8 percent, and 16.7 percent. I'm very profitable and looking forward to taking the next position. Sean. I've been with you for less than 90 days, and I'm up over 12%. Thank God for you, sir. I bought my first set of shares on August 29th, and as of right now, I'm showing about a 9% profit. Thanks for teaching us and sharing your knowledge with us. So based on what I know and what I can bring to the table, what occurred to me after reviewing the prime season calendar, along with its crash alert system, was this. What if, instead of simply investing in the sectors based on seasons, what if we put our money on the best stock during each sector's prime season instead? Essentially overlaying the prime season calendar with my proprietary 360-degree stock investment strategy. So say, instead of simply buying the technology fund when the technology sector is in season, why not focus on the best performing stock in that sector instead, such as Oracle, Apple, or Intel, or whatever stock is about to go in season, with huge potential for upswing. Wouldn't that get us much higher returns? Wouldn't that maximize our investments and get us absolute profits? Here's what we did. I sat down with my math genius, my cryptographer who was in charge of nuclear bombs back during the Cold War, and we dove in. We thought about how we could invest in the best stocks during each sector's prime season instead of just buying the fund that tracks the sector. After months and months of careful backtesting, the, the results we got were simply astounding. We found that our system of absolute profits could get better than market returns consistently. It didn't matter if the stock market was going up, down, or sideways, we beat the market. Here are the results. Now, pay close attention because this is where small numbers really add up. As mentioned earlier, using the prime season calendar, we were able to average 18.79% per year. That would allow a person to turn every $10,000 into $313,038 over a 20-year period. But when we overlaid the seasonal calendar with my proprietary 360-degree investment strategy to identify the best stock of each sector during its prime season, we were able to increase the annual returns to 21.49%. At first, this extra 3% increase sounds minimal. But that $10,000 investment now jumps from $313,000 over 20 years up to $490,693. It's mind-blowing. Take a look at these examples for proof. In 2010, after our crash alert gave us the green light to invest again, energy would be hitting its prime season on September 20th and would last until February 7th. So by getting into an energy sector ETF, we would have made 36% profits in a six-month period versus 15% on the S&P 500. That's great. That's more than double what the market returns were, but we could do better. Using my 360-degree strategy for picking stocks, we would have identified National Oil Well Varco, symbol NOV, as completely out of season and beaten down and ready for a rally. It was fundamentally sound, sentiment was heading in its direction, and technically speaking, it was geared up for a major rally. And as you can see on the chart, had we made this investment, we would have received a profit windfall of 85%, thus beating the market by 70 percentage points. 
What's more, because the absolute profit system is about getting in during prime seasons only, never sticking around for the position to fall out of season, and in this case being six months, we would have exited this investment with 85% returns so that we could reinvest our money in the next prime season stock. Those are incredible results using both the prime season calendar and my 360 degree stock picking strategy. Now, I also want to show you how this works in a flat market. Let's take a look at this example. During 2011, the stock market was pretty much flat from April through June. But thanks to our prime season calendar, we would have focused our attention on the pharmaceutical sector. During that time, the S&P 500 gained about 1%, but the pharmaceutical sector actually gained 8%. That's a 7% difference. But let's say we picked the top stock of that sector using my 360 degree investment approach, a stock like Questcore Pharmaceuticals, symbol QCOR, a biopharmaceutical company which focuses on the treatment of patients with serious, difficult to treat autoimmune disorders. Well, take a look at these gains. We could have received a 27% windfall in two short months. That is 26% better than a buy and hold strategy. Again, that was during a short two month period. So you've seen how our prime season calendar performs in an up market and a sideways market, but is it possible to make money even as the market goes down? The short answer is yes, but I say that tongue in cheek. Remember, this prime season calendar is designed to signal a crash alert if the stock market is facing a major sell-off like we saw in 1987, 2000, or 2008. So if a major stock crash is coming, our market system should alert you well in advance. However, we don't want to sit on the sidelines if the market is heading into a moderate sell-off, and that's because our sectors will still shine during their prime season, even if the overall market is still going down. Take a look at this example. Between late April and late September of 2010, stocks went down about 6%. But for seasonal investors who knew what sectors to be in during this period, it was a great time. Our calendar would have told us to get into the gold mining sector on April 20th and stay in through September 21st. As you can see in this chart, if you had followed our calendar, you would have made 20% returns instead of getting hit with a 6% loss. But watch this. Using my 360 degree approach, we would have identified the best stock during gold mining prime season, Newmont Mining, symbol NEM. And as you can see, this stock made 24%, beating the S&P 500 by 30 percentage points and even beating the gold sector by four percentage points. Plus, just like the other example, we are in and out of these investments as soon as the prime season is over. In this case, we got our 24% returns in five months and promptly left, cashing out and going on to the next investment. As you can see with these three examples, using the prime season calendar overlaid with my 360 degree investment approach, what we call our absolute profit system, we could have been able to get returns such as 85% in a bull market, 27% in a flat market, and even as high as 24% in a bear market while sidestepping major stock market sell-offs. Compare that to if you had a buy and hold strategy where you would have gained only 15% in a bull market, made 1% in a flat market, and lost 6% in a bear market. That's a difference of 70, 26, and 30%. And of course, you should have also avoided the 50% market crashes that plagued Americans in 1987, 2000, and 2008 because our calendar is designed to issue crash alerts. Please also notice that none of the returns I mentioned are outlandish. I don't claim to make 500%, 1500%, or 15,000%. Our goal is to get consistent, solid returns. We do that by picking winners. Remember, our prime season calendar has been able to identify winners 96% of the time in bull markets, flat markets, and bear markets. Now, in a moment, I would like to invite you to become a member of my newsletter service, Absolute Profits, completely risk-free. This newsletter will give you access to my investments based on this truly amazing system. I'll also tell you how you can get your very own copy of the prime season calendar itself that reliably produced 18.79% annualized returns and our back testing absolutely free. But first, I want to quickly tell you why the timing couldn't be more perfect. At one point in your life, you probably met with a personal financial advisor. Maybe you had your portfolio reviewed recently. He or she may have reminded you that over time, the stock market has generated solid 7 or 8% annual returns as long as you bought your mutual funds and held on to them for 20, 30, or 40 years. Now, there is truth to that. However, the problem is this. Take a look at this chart of the stock market from 1950 to 2000. 
The only reason why we could get returns of 7 or 8 percent annually over the last 20, 30, or 40 years is because we experienced an unprecedented stock market rally from 1980 to 2000 that sent stocks up 1,368 percent. It is very debatable if we will ever experience a stock market rally of that magnitude again. To put that in perspective, the Dow Jones would have to hit 212,000 to equal another 1,368% return. Betting your financial future on this type of stock market rally is not only unrealistic, it's dangerous. In fact, take a look at this chart from 2000 to present day. If you had bought stocks in 2000 and held them, you would have generated an annual return of a mere 0.29%. Look, buy and hold is dead. It has only worked because we had the 1,368% bull run between 1980 and 2000. Our research is conclusive. What works consistently, reliably, and predictably in good times, bad times, and even in times where the market doesn't seem to move at all is seasonal investing coupled with my 360-degree strategy of fundamental, technical, and sentiment analysis backed by our crash alert system. That's what Absolute Profits is about. And the best part about all this is, it's not complicated. Inside our calendar, which we've aptly named the Prime Season Calendar, I give you the exact dates to buy and sell each of the 19 sectors. If you simply buy the ETF or the fund for each of those sectors based on our rigid backtesting, you could earn 18.79% annually over the long run. That's enough to turn every $10,000 investment into $313,937 over a 20-year period. But every percentage point counts. Just 1% more in annualized returns could mean hundreds of thousands of dollars. When we overlay our prime season calendar with my proprietary 360 degree investment approach, we have the chance to boost our returns up to 21.49% a year. That's enough to turn every $10,000 investment into $490,693 or every $1,000 into $49,000. And that's why with Absolute Profits, I will be helping you pick the best stock out of the entire sector whenever it approaches its prime season. As you saw in our examples, we were getting returns as high as 85% within five months. It's as clear as this. Would you rather have $53,430 or $490,693? Now, whether you decide to simply invest in the fund as suggested in the prime season calendar, or work with me to help you find the best stocks in each sector as they hit their highest profit season, you're still beating the stock market average and ensuring a safer, stronger financial future. Very few mutual funds or financial planners can even begin to talk about 21.49% annualized returns. But here's the best part. I'm going to practically give you the prime season calendar absolutely free at the end of this presentation. Let me explain. When you enroll as a charter member of Absolute Profits, you're getting access to the Prime Season Calendar, a heavily back-tested proven strategy designed to generate 18.79% annualized returns. But those returns are not good enough for me. I want to go one step further. That's why I, Sean Hyman, will be using my 360-degree investment approach to highlight the best stocks during each sector's prime season and sharing them with you as a member of Absolute Profits. Our goal is to hit a minimum return of 21.49% per year. You'll know exactly what to buy and when to take full advantage for maximum profits. Let me show you what you get when you become a member of Absolute Profits. First and most important, you get my email trade alerts. You will know exactly what stocks to buy and when to sell to aim for returns of 21.49% or higher per year. Our goal is to be in the right sector at any given point in the year, but to also be in the best stock of that sector. Now, a quick note here. Some may be worried they'll miss out on an investment since they're not checking emails all the time. It's okay, why? Because we're holding positions for months at a time. It's fine to get in on our investments a few days after the recommendation. Remember, we're not day traders here. We're not gambling or speculating. We want solid, consistent returns from our investments. Next, you get my weekly Tuesday update. Each Tuesday, you'll receive a concise video in which I discuss with you our current positions and what's going on in the market that week. This way, you're always updated and ready to make a new investment. Together, we'll review how our investments are doing, and you'll also get a better feel for why I'm picking the stocks I'm recommending. Also, you get my monthly Absolute Profits interview. While the weekly reports will keep you up to date, my goal is to always keep our eyes on the long-term strategy of investing for Absolute Profits. I want to help you understand the ins and outs of it. So each month, I will sit down and answer your questions in an interview format. You can ask about a specific investment, the sector that's in prime season, or even trading ideas you personally may have. The monthly interview is here to fill in the gaps.
What's more, you get 24-7 access to my Absolute Profits library. This is the mother load. Because you're viewing this presentation right now, you're going to get charter member access to every report, back issue, and guide I've ever written, and every issue I will write for Absolute Profits. This includes my 12-12-12 strategy to personal finance and my Investment 101 guide to help you get started if you're new to investing. And of course, it also includes the interactive version of the Prime Season Calendar. This will tell you what sectors to buy, and when there is a crash alert, you will be told to take your money off the table to avoid major losses. As a charter member of Absolute Profits, you will get the Prime Season Calendar, along with all these reports, back issues, and videos, which could easily sell for $47 each, absolutely free for your entire lifetime, as long as you're a member. You will also receive crash alerts by email for the Prime Season Calendar. This is when my crash alert system will signal that the market is about to collapse and will literally tell us to sell our positions, just like it did in our back testing during 1987, 2000, and 2008. And for acting today, you will also receive a major bonus, free access to the Prime Season International Calendar. This is a version of the calendar that was developed to show you exactly when you should invest in a country's stock market, whether it be Brazil, Germany, China, Australia, or others. The best part is, you can own a part of these countries using your normal brokerage account. But that's not all. You also get training videos. For those of you who are hungry to understand my 360 degree strategy to picking stocks or any other of my investing concepts, I'm also providing you free of charge in-depth training videos on fundamental, technical, and sentiment analysis. As you can see, I've designed absolute profits to cater to you no matter what your experience or expertise is or how engaged you want to be. If you simply want to invest in the best stocks during each sector's prime season, you can just watch your inbox for the trade alerts and follow our weekly report. If you want to understand the absolute profit strategy inside and out and perhaps discover your own investments, you can do that with our deep monthly interviews and training videos. In fact, I want to give you as much information as possible from the get-go here. You can practically walk away with an investment system that makes an 18.49% automatically absolutely free without paying me a dime if you want. Let me tell you how I'm going to go out on a limb here. This prime season calendar is the most foolproof way to consistently, reliably, and predictably make money and beat the market. This strategy alone has generated 18.79% returns over the last 20 years, turning your $10,000 into $313,038, which is six times better than what you would have gotten investing in the S&P 500. And maybe you're happy with that and you're not interested in my best stocks during each sector's prime season, and perhaps you just want the prime season calendar for free. I get that. But I want you to at least try out Absolute Profits. So let me make it completely risk-free for you. If you've subscribed to Absolute Profits and don't like it for any reason, you can ask for a full refund at any point in the next three months, and you get to keep your copy of the prime season calendar. You have nothing to lose here. You can basically get a free copy of the Prime Season Calendar, which tells you exactly what date to invest in the 19 sectors and get returns as high as 18.79%. In other words, try absolute profits. Try investing in my best stocks. And if you don't like it, get a refund and keep the Prime Season Calendar. And here's the best part. Subscribing to absolute profits will cost you less than a family dinner out. Yes, you heard that right. Should you join Absolute Profits and dislike any part of my alerts, weekly reports, or monthly interviews, or if you even don't like the stocks I'm choosing, or heck, if you don't like my style, you can simply call or email us for a 100% refund. We will return every penny you paid for Absolute Profits. What's more, you have a full three months to try Absolute Profits before you make this decision. And should you choose this route, which I sincerely hope that you won't, you get to keep your copy of the Prime Season Calendar as a parting gift. And following the exact dates in the prime season calendar, you can earn up to 18.79% returns even without my best stock picks in each sector. In other words, you simply cannot lose here. You're getting the prime season calendar whether you choose to stay with absolute profits or not. This is an investing system that has back-tested results of 18.79% returns over the past two decades. That's a reliable system that has survived two bear markets and two bull markets. Now, why would I offer my prime season calendar so freely? It's a great question to ask. Why would I take such a big risk to practically offer the prime season calendar free of charge to you? Because for me, at the end of the day, this isn't about money. It's about more than that. This is about giving back and helping others to achieve financial freedom. This is something that's dear to my heart. 
You see, several years ago, my father came to me with a $40,000 investment account that he simply couldn't retire on. Using an early version of my system, I was able to help him turn that $40,000 into $396,000. And that's what I want to do for you with an Absolute Profits membership. You see, I was raised in a small town in Arkansas. And we had no money growing up, so when I was still young, I made a vow to myself that I would help develop financial intelligence so that I could provide for my family and serve God and help others. And that's what I'm doing here with Absolute Profits. My goal is to help thousands of folks across America achieve financial security. It's been over five years since the great financial crisis of 2008, but I know how much it still stings for most people. I've seen friends, relatives, and colleagues blindsided and wiped out. Absolute Profits is about fighting back and saving your retirement. And we'll do it using an improved version of Wall Street's very own trading strategy to profit, their secret calendar. They've been using the secret calendar to beat the market by 250%. But we have improved the calendar. The rogue version that landed on my desk delivered annual returns of 13.44%. And then I worked with a genius mathematician to retool it to our prime season calendar to get 18.79% returns. And while getting 18.79% returns annualized is a great way to help you build your wealth for your retirement, I wanted to get even better returns for you. Returns that beat the market, whether it's up, down, or sideways. Returns that are life transforming. So let me help you here. By becoming an Absolute Profits member, I will work my tail off to help you get returns of at least 21.49% per year, no matter what happens in the stock market. Now, before I go, I have to mention one last thing. The special pricing for Absolute Profits that you will see on the registration page is reserved for viewers like yourself only. You are among the very first to see this presentation. Because of that, you're guaranteed a very special, unique enrollment fee to Absolute Profits that future viewers may not see. And frankly, the C-level executives have fought me on the current reduced price we are offering today. They've made it clear that they will double the enrollment fee to Absolute Profits in the very near future. To my knowledge, the paperwork has already been approved to make this change. So don't delay on this, especially since right now the enrollment fee is less than a family dinner out. Take advantage of this charter membership immediately before the price doubles. Remember, regardless if you stay with Absolute Profits or not, you'll get to keep your own copy of the Prime Season Calendar for free, which can help you generate 18.79% annualized returns by simply buying the right sector on the exact dates as indicated. And God bless.